All right, let's talk about nested indicators. Let's go to this chart real quick and let us remove the RSI. And let's just add the ATR and let's apply that to the chart. So here is the ATR. So let's nest a moving average on top of this ATR real quick. Let us go to EMA. And the first thing we need to do is choose the, um, so where is it at? The panel. So the ATR is on panel two. So we want our EMA to be on panel two. The scale justification is really important. You want it to be the same as the ATR, so it's on the right side. And then the input series, since we want to be taking in the ATR values, we're going to choose ATR, make sure the period matches the other ATR, and then close. Now we have a 14 period RS or uh, EMA on top of the 14 period um, ATR. We can of course change the period, so let's just change it to 50. And now we have that value. And so let's say we have this indicator nested on the ATR, and then you want it to incorporate it into the builder, you know, and just say that, you know, the ATR is greater than the 50 period EMA of the ATR. So let's move over to the builder. Once again, I'm not gonna alter this strategy. I'm just using it for examples at this point. So what we're going to do is go to indicator, Past it. ATR. Okay, you can plot it on the chart if you want to. Is greater than the EMA. Set the input series. As the ATR. So ATR 14 period matches you know over here on the left ATR 14 period and then choose 50 so the 14 period ATR is greater than the, than the 50 period EMA of the ATR so yeah super easy to use nested indicators um, in the builder you can pretty much nest them infinitely if you wanted to I know a lot of people like to use nested indicators. Uh, using this example on the ATR is kind of a little trick to normalize the ATR uh, across you know, other products. So cool. Hope y'all have a good one and I will see you in the next one.